lighting. I'm just going to give a quick uh, overview on how to use the uh, ghost lighting sequencer software. Uh, so when you get it from us, uh, currently it's going to be in a zip file. Um, you expand it, you got a folder here, and uh, you have the application that you execute right here. Run it. You see it brings up our uh, software interface. Um, so basically to, to just get, get running, to get started quickly, you can just go here, file, open a project, and see some of our uh, pre-configured setups. So we have a GTR, G35 sedan, uh, LED arrays for switchback, 7th uh, gen Maxima tail. So I'll start with a GTR, it's a familiar shape. So you see here we have um, LED arrangement already configured. We have uh, parking, turn, brake, start, and show mode already uh, already programmed as well with a, with a default setting. So you see here basically you have the channels along here, 1 through 20, depending on however many you're using. And then each step is a step in the animation sequence. So you see here, step 1, everything is off. Step 2, channels 6 and 7 are dim. Step three, five and eight, and you see it slowly starts expanding. And I think you can start seeing how this works. So you can kind of click on these boxes here to kind of see the current ste step you're on. You could even simulate the entire video and uh, generate an MP4 to review, send to your client, whatever. The uh, video generation time will de directly reflect based on the number of steps that are included. So you see right there, you know, you can pretty much get a basic idea of how this works. Um, for example, let's say we wanted to start from scratch. I'm going to turn, turn signal all off. Um, start with everything off. We're going to turn that guy on. See here, you can actually, let's say you do a bunch of changes to step five and you want to clone it, you can do that. It actually clones it directly below. Um, you can delete it. Anyway, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of clicking the boxes. And I'll just simulate this to show you just really quick what I just did so you can kind of get an idea. All right, so you can see how you can really quickly get in here and start customizing stuff, um, either using pre-made animations, which... Um, may or may not be helpful to you. For the most part, uh, they're kind of split up in a left to right uh, arrangement. So if you had 20 LEDs in a, in a, in a row, um, they were all isolated from each other and wired independently. Um, you could animate them in a line and use any of our, uh, actually most of our pre-made animations would basically apply to that. Because um, as you can see, the GTR LEDs here are joined in channels so the upper and lower one are kind of on the same channel. Uh, they're just limited due to the number of LEDs on the tail light. Now let's say you want to uh, configure something and add a new LED. Well, you see here the positioning. It might take a little while to understand where exactly the coordinates are. The position 100, 100. You can add pick your color, you assign what channel you want it to be on, add boom. So, so right there you can see you adjust the positioning of the coordinates and you can kind of build your own LED arrangement. Um, you can pick the channels that everything is assigned to and then you come down here and you program the animation. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You have a lot of uh, you know all options. You can make everything bright, dim, swap, speed up, um, keep in mind the transition speed for the turn signal will be kind of statically set by the car. 
um, it's dependent on the uh, flasher unit so it'll kind of time itself but everything else you can kind of control the transition speed um, and you know make certain parts slow certain parts fast um, when you build a configuration all you need to do is actually is uh, export the sequence when you're highlighted on you know the tab you built uh, export the sequence you can either email it to us or upload it to our website and uh, we compile it send it back and you can flash it using the picket 3 unit um, so that pretty much gives you an overview of the software if you have any questions let us know thanks again all right bye